play the beta for about 7 hours and during that time completely finish the game, so I decided to check how things would be on the release. So, the first thing that catches the eye in the surrounding world, now it's not a dead-end street without turn-offs like in the beta, but a full-fledged little neighborhood, there are even primitive car models and the textures of the houses look decent. NPCs are predictably dumb and without collision and their models can be seen in other low-budget games. Playing the beta, your only task was to replenish the supplies on the shelves in time and simultaneously serve customers. Taking cash from them by hand and giving change, which allowed me to skillfully calculate any customer within a second by the six hours of the game, so to speak, training in virtual reality. Now, besides cash, you can also accept cards, which slightly diff diversifies the gameplay. By the way, I don't know how things are now with toilet paper in foreign cities, but the price of $12 for 4 rolls of snowy white paper for your ass is very amusing. Especially when some Joe Biden from AliExpress comes and buys two shelves of 16 rolls each. Thanks to such a price tag. After opening this product in the game, money appears sharply. Interesting additions. The guys added the ability to hire staff, which optimized half of the war. Another is you can take money on credit so that the store doesn't go under. The significantly increased the store's leveling up and the number of product licenses added a warehouse, which I didn't reach, so I don't know what there. So for results, looking at the game teaser, you can expect many more innovations. There should be more activities, I think, and in the game, for now, you won't be able to linger for long. You can just kill time at the cash register. There are bugs, for example, the refrigerator got stuck outside for me and NPCs came out of the store to the refrigerator to take products. When the light is on in the store, the glass texture glitches. There are bugs with the textures of the NPCs themselves. The hair of the model of the movement with red flare flickers. If there is an employee at the cash register and at the time move the cash register to another place, the NPC will remain in place, but the animations will trigger. This is a Descent Time Killer simulator, but for now it doesn't have anything to keep people interested for long. That's all for today. If you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to know about my new videos. So, see you soon!